There is still not a game like Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I can't exactly describe why I love this game, but I know I love this game more than most others, more than most other types of media. This game surpasses all bounds in so many aspects. Oh, I'm also uh, shirtless still, by the way. I, I Don't ask me why, please. But something about Smash Bros. Brawl that stays connected with me throughout my 20s, still thinking about it a decade and almost a decade and a half after its release, one thing that stayed connected with me is its music. Of course, its iconic uh, main theme music that is a symphony in itself. One of the tracks that stays truly connected to my mind is the trophy room, the, the gallery room. It's a big mix of nostalgia going to this gallery room. I think I spent too many hours listening to this theme alone and searching through all the trophies that me and my brother have collected. If you're not too familiar, or if I can catch you up on how fun Smash Bros Brawl's trophies were, there was so much surrounding just the trophies alone that made me fall in love with the gallery more than some of the other modes in the actual game. I think Subspace Emissary will always stay on top for me, but the trophy room really just connected the whole Smash universe and Nintendo lore for me all together in one simple area. I remember being addicted to collecting all the achievements and getting trophies that way. I remember being addicted to the coin launcher game to get more trophies and more coins. And I just remember looking through this game's history since a lot of Nintendo's lore and history are shoved into this game in a beautiful way. Even though there were trophies in a gallery in uh, Smash 4, Smash Ultimate has no trophies, they have spirits, and as far as spirits go, I like them, yes, but I think nothing will top the amount of effort and vibes that you get from the Smash Brawl's trophy room. This music is so elegant, it's almost like elevator music, but for Nintendo. While scrolling through all the Mario characters, Pokemon characters, obscure Nintendo icons, you have a chill background playlist of a nice, soothing, suave, elegant, nice, elegant melody. The track was really nice overall, having a mix of some flute solos with a background track of a piano. And kind of switching into what sounds like strings, almost a subtle string melody that has almost a Spanish vibe to it but it's really feeling of a nice fancy hotel kind of waiting room which is so goofy to say but it really works out for this trophy room for all the anime fans out there i feel like a lot of this flute goes off in kind of a 90s anime style vibe for some reason that was some of the things back then i don't know why but it really works in this weird gallery I mean, what was your favorite trophy? I really like Espresso and a lot of the other Donkey Kong ones, in my opinion. Some of my other favorites might have to be the items. Seeing the items' history and lore and which games they came from were really interesting as a kid since I was only, what, 10 maybe? So reading in on all these weird things, um, it, it makes it very special to me now looking back and realizing this is what kind of made me the nerdy gamer I am today. I think out of all Nintendo songs, this is a melody that you can relax to, chill, vibe, have fun with, and I, I think it tops a lot of other tracks in Smash Bros. in general. That might be a little absurd of me to say, but really like Listen to this and stop thinking. I did not script this video. I'm just 
speaking off the top of my head and for the past 30 minutes i've been listening to this track um thinking about what to say but it's hard to think about what to say because i just can't overwhelm myself i can't overthink with this track playing in the background it's nice it's it is so nice it's sympathetic to my ears uh, doesn't need vocals doesn't need any extra flair it's simple elegant like i said and it's so easy to digest i i think it adds a nice balance a nice contradiction to the chaotic epicness of subspace emissary uh, fighting against friends and the other game modes in smash bros brawl i think it adds that nice relaxing calm tone you need after every couple matches or so while well, you can take a break and look at what trophies you collected from the story mode from classic mode and i i love that hard for me to say anything else about this track other than it's just gorgeous i think it's one of those tracks that doesn't need much explanation if you know this you know this and if you don't you can just listen to it and kind of understand the emotions i'm feeling i love this game love this track i love everything about this game um and the trophy room is no exception i think the composers of brawl really brought their a game and i think it's one of the best osts in gaming history in my opinion so let me know what you think what is your favorite trophy of this game if there's any you can remember or if there's anything you've seen on screen yet I kind of let the footage play so you can have a relaxing time and hey, I hope you had a good day. This is Grind Month Day 2 and I'll see you tomorrow.